When Wentz is going off the field, he is getting booed like crazy. And, and we didn't get to this in our first go round, but, but you've been a quarterback and you've been booed and you've had your quarterbacks booed and you know what that is. And Philly, we all know it's a tough place. They have a, the kind of schedule the rest of the way. The Eagles are not done by any means. But when your quarterback is getting booed like that at home, what does that do to a team? Well, first off, it's Philly. They, they uh, booed Santa Claus. So, right. uh, I mean, it, it's part of the deal. However, man, this is your quarterback. The, the problem is the Philly needs to get behind the quarterback and support this guy. Instead, they're not. What I saw was a quarterback right now that he's not comfortable. I don't know how healthy he is. Looked like, and Dan, you know more than I do, looked like he was aiming those throws, those underneath things, instead of ripping it. And, and to me, that's what they got to get back to doing. I don't think this team's going anywhere unless they get healthy. If they get healthy, there's no reason why they can't win this division. Yeah, I have no questions that Carson Wentz is a star in the NFL. No question about it. He was missing a lot of people yesterday. That being said, when Howie Roseman and Lurie cut that check to you with this offseason, they hand it over to you and go, the expectation is that when those guys are out, you can overcome, right? We, we, when Russell Wilson's kind of the, the benchmark of it, you overcome those people being out by the way that you play, the little things that you do. You can't have the turnovers. You can't have the missed throws. You've got to be perfect to overcome that stuff, and Carson's not there yet. Getting booed, it's hard, like – there's a lot of layers to this. Comes from a small area, right? Comes from a small school where he was the king. He's the early draft pick that was lighting the league on fire, MVP. We all know the Nick Foles thing. I'm, I did radio in Philadelphia last week. There are people who, like, are clamoring to trade Nick, uh, Carson Wentz. To Just trade Carson Wentz. So you, you have... Thick skin, you better have reptile. I, I, I got to tell you, I mean, you better have skin like an armadillo. I get it, which I know is armor. However, I will say this. Carson Wentz right here, the, the thing that I noticed in the wind, he wasn't confident, right? It was really windy. Then isn't that when you rip it? Cut you, it. you got to just cut it loose and let, let it go. Did we the see wind. Russell Wilson? Yeah, yeah, he did. So to they me, gotta get he was aiming and all that. But this team right here, I mean, I would love for Philly to finally get behind this kid. But it's not going to happen. And why? They put that stupid statue uh, out there of the backup quarterback. <laughs> Very quickly, are you getting behind the Eagles or the Cowboys for the rest of the I'm run? taking Philadelphia. Their defense is playing great, and I hope they get healthy on offense, and I will take the quarterback. The well, I'm going to say what's, what's going to happen here. Dallas, they, they should be the thing. They have the most talent. They're going to win Thursday night, and nobody expects it against Buffalo. They're going to win that game. So it's going to come down to who wins that matchup with Dallas and Philly and I'm going to take Philly. And I'm going to take the Cowboys, and we'll see what winds up happening. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.